What's going on, everybody? This last weekend, I went to Megacon in Orlando, Florida, and I've got a lot of things to show you guys. So if you want to see what I picked up, what art I got, I got some original stuff done and picked up some stuff that was already created, got a lot of signatures, got a lot of trade paperbacks for some reading coming up. Uh, so stick around if you want to see all of that. <laughs> To start out with, I am going to show you guys some stuff I got from Travis Gibb and all of the fine folk at Orange Cone Productions, Travis's uh, Kickstarter production company, and that's also going to include uh, their new release that just came out from Scout Comics, Granite State Punk. So. First of all, I got the Ashcan for Expired issue number two. This is funding right now on Kickstarter. It is a fantastic sci-fi future story uh, where uh, you, you, you kind of have an expiration time and it's a little bit of a classist system and the, you are essentially at some point will run out of oxygen and that's when you die. And so there's, there's a struggle and a battle against those in power and we have a character who's really trying to live uh life to the fullest at the very end to uh try to get back at everyone so go check out expired number two you might see me in expired number two just a heads up i am a character in it and it looks so cool uh, i'm not in the ash can but i'm like a couple pages after this where i first pop up so check that out um over on Kickstarter, expired one and two funding right now. I said we got Granite State Punk, so I got the whole creative team to sign this. We've got signatures from Travis, Heather, Jerome, and Patrick. Patrick, an incredible artist, uh, so good, his art on this book. I also got the VHS variant at my store, and so I had to get them to sign this as well. And I picked up, I believe this was the exclusive to the collective. Uh, they were signing at the collective's booth and I picked it up from them for that. And the one in 10 variant I got from them at the con as well. Uh, just, uh, I have this as a uh, metal variant. So now here it is as a regular cover as well. And while we're talking about Patrick Viermeyer and his art, I picked up another book from him that he did the interior arts on and did this awesome sketch cover. This book's called Discordia. Uh, I do not know everything about what it's about yet, but I am excited to check it out. I think that he said there's three issues and there's some uh, uh, tie-in issues as well. Uh, but look at this, this looks freaking amazing. We got werewolves eating uh, somebody's intestines there. That's my kind of book right there. Uh, I brought our exclusive and got several of these signed by uh, Pat, uh, not Patrick, uh, Travis, Jerome, and Heather. And so these are signed by everybody but uh, Tyler, the interior artist, and Devin, the cover artist. So if you want to get one of these still, we've got some. $15 for the regular cover, $35 for the foil, uh, combined just $45 for the two of them. But... That one's for me. And then speaking of Coins of Judas, I picked up issue number two and had them sign it because I have not uh, gotten number two from my shop yet and I, I don't know when Diamond's going to actually deliver it, so now I can read number two. And a couple more from Orange Cone. We've got Cthulhu Invades Neverland ash can here. Uh, this one's funding this summer. So it's got a couple of the stories in it. And while I was at it, I got the one from last year, Cthulhu Invades Wonderland. They did an ash can for that. So that's, I believe, everything from Travis and Company, which is a lot of my haul uh, that's single issue associated. And then I had picked up this metal cover of the recount number one at my shop because they got it in a collection. And so I brought it for Jonathan to sign and uh, EM Git, EM Gist. Gist? Geist? I'm not 100% sure on the last name, but uh, 
he was the cover artist on this, so he was there and signed it. He actually had the original artwork there, which was super cool to see. Uh, next up, we've got some Dream Master I had to bring to get signed from Jonathan. And I, Tiago da Silva was there, and I should have had him sign these, but honestly, I couldn't find the booth. Uh, and it was just, it was a mess of a con in terms of figuring out where anything was there. So much chaos, but uh, still so much fun. And I, I did not regret not going to get those signed because I will, I will try to do that at another con in the future. Uh, this one's super special to me. Etienne gave this to Jerome because Jerome was coming down to, um, to Megacon from Canada and Etienne wanted me to get a copy of their essentially original ash can release of Dead Kingdom. It's the prelude for Dead Kingdom and they both signed it on the inside. I recently had them on the channel talking all things Dead Kingdom and... Uh, Come on, you guys need to be picking this up from Red 5 Comics. It is an incredible medieval zombie story that uh, you don't want to miss out on. And since Jerome was going to be there, I figured why not have him sign the Holiday Spirits Volume 2 cover with his head on it. And it's, it's just, it's such a good cover. All right, now we're coming into some other things here. Uh, David Byrne was there, the writer of Steak, but before Steak, he wrote The Couch. Uh, I can't wait to see what this book is about. I, I really don't know, but I knew I had to pick it up from him. And then, uh, speaking of Steak, we had our variants for Steak Presents, Jessamy. And I wanted to get one of those remarked by Francesca Fantini, the interior artist. And it is just beautiful. I love this. So, so good on the remark there. And then the whole team signed it. Joel Rodriguez, the letterer, was also there. He's got his own books that he's written out there. So check him out. Metal Ninja Studios, um, which is now also a, a lettering and production studio for comics and he's expanding and um, taking on new jobs as a studio versus just him doing the, the lettering all on his own. Uh, next up, I met Mirka Andolfo at the con and I didn't really have uh, the extra money to get a commission from uh, Mirka Andolfo, but I really wish I did. I picked up the uh, Mercy trade paperback because I have not gotten to read it yet and got her to, to sign the interior there, but I'm excited. Uh, it was cool to meet her and you know, see all the awesome things that she's created out there. The creator I was really excited to meet because we've talked on the channel before and she's super nice, super talented in terms of the stories that she's telling and the books that she's creating. And that's Emma Kubert right here. Uh, just phenomenal creator had her sign stoneheart number one and i got her to do a commission right here uh blank with erica slaughter on it and get this lined up in there it is just so beautiful i i love it i love all of it on there uh just fantastic i'm glad i asked for that commission because it came out so good um Next up, let's see what we got here. We got two uh, Sumerian comics creators that were at the con, at the Sumerian comics booth. Uh, on Saturday, Ruben Romero was there with his Illusion Witch. Um, I, I picked up this one uh, previously and brought it for him to sign. And just because just I, I needed a, a copy with his signature on it and I brought uh, Walking Without a Soul because Alicia Fernandez was there and she signed the back here and drew a, a uh, little butterfly in the back. Um, so more on, more on uh, Alicia in a little bit and some things that we got to do at the con and, and interviews and things. But uh, those two creators, fantastic, um, fantastic people, fantastic creators. If you've not read The Illusion Witch and you are a fan of magic and fantasy, sword and sorcery, 
go check out The Illusion Witch because you're really going to love it. And then Walking Without a Soul is a little bit more dark fantasy, afterlife. Uh, if you're into that kind of thing, you're going to love Walking Without a Soul. Let's see what we got next. We got some Mad Cave stuff here. We got the uh, Advanced Reader Copy Sneak Preview of Paper Planes. This is a Maverick title that they got coming up and one that I am hoping to get a review for out soon. I have it on NetGalley. I'm hoping it's still there. I've been bogged down and not been able to get to my NetGalley things. Um, and then uh, they had Andrea Moody at the con and he did a signing and right here I've got a signed and remarked copy from Andrea. Um, this is just phenomenal. I thought I was buying a signed copy and then I opened it up later and found that it was remarked as well. I'm super happy. Thank you, um, Mad Cave, for that. Uh, also, because um, I am on their, their press list, um, they were able to get me a physical copy of the advanced reader copy of Monomyth Number 1, which is on FOC this week and is a phenomenal uh, dark fantasy story with magic with uh, some consequences some huge consequences to magic and um, some really interesting characters some incredible artwork I am so hyped for this book uh, and I've already read it I just I just want to read more of number one if that even makes sense but I love this book monomyth number one tell your shop you need it it's it's so good um, Going back to some Maverick for a second, I picked up Needle and Thread. Uh, Frank, the uh, one of the guys at the booth and the guy who's our contact for 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 uh, press, he recommended this one. He says his favorite one, and so shout out Frank. I am going to read this and let you know what I think because it looks it looks really good. A great, uh, of course, young readers book right there. And last but not least, I have been meaning to read Stargazer for quite a while now. And wow, um, this book is just phenomenal. I, I read it on the plane flight home and I loved it. I loved every second of it. This is a fantastic creative team. Anthony Cleveland writing, Antonio Fuso doing the art and Stefano Simeone doing the colors with Justin Birch on the letters. Just a fantastic creative team right here. And if I remember correctly, this book has been optioned at some point. So I'm glad I got to read it before, you know, hearing news that it's in production or um, just seeing it out there because this is such an experience reading it in the comic. Uh, next up, let's talk about some Blue Juice comics right here because shout out to the people at the Blue Juice Comics booth for hooking me up with some books. Um, I already love them for putting out Billy the Kit from uh, Justin Gray and, and uh, Billy McLean, uh, Barry McLean, not Billy, I'm thinking Billy the Kit, Barry McLean Jr., the, the crazy creative minds behind Billy the Kit. Um, but uh, they hooked me up with Aether and Empire right here, another book from them, Volume 1, Eternal Glory. This one uh, written by Mike Horan, pencils and inks by Bong Tai Dazo and colors by... Tim Yates with letters by Crank. Just a little, little peek on the inside. This looks fantastic. I'm excited to check it out. And then four volumes right here of Accelerators. They're really, I think they're wrong, longest running book right here. It's uh, up to 20 issues, a sci claimed sci-fi series. Uh, we've got different names on the volumes, Time Games, momentum, relativity, forwards and backwards, and uh, I hope this shows up in the shot, but uh, backwards is written backwards right there, um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's take a flip through here. We've got a creative team of RFI Porto is the writer, Gavin P. Smith, pencils and inks, Tim Yates on the colors, Crank on the letters, and it says original series covers by Walt Flanagan. Um, but here's just a peek inside. This looks, this looks good. Uh, the art looks fantastic. Some crazy sci-fi things going on here. I'm not going to flip too far in and get spoiled on anything, but, uh, yeah, that's some good stuff right there. Um, now 
let's talk about some other stuff. And I'm going to talk about some trinkets and things that I picked up. Because there's always, there's always good trinkets at a con. Um, the rest of these from the Sumerian Comics booth. And we got Hotline Miami Volume 1 and 2 right here. I have not fully read through this series, so I'm excited to read this. This is one of the few I have not read from Sumerian. Nine Stones right here, uh, Volume 1. This is, I believe, eight issues, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, formerly a webcomic. I love this, this size and this collection. This feels like a webcomic collection here. Um, I really enjoyed this story. It's dark. It's uh, out there at times, but it's also very, um, very LGBTQ friendly. And there is some uh, crazy stuff going on here, disturbing stuff going on here as well. So if that's your thing, uh, you can check it out on Tapas as well. But uh, I would recommend going and picking up this this awesome collection here. Um, I picked that one up so I could potentially do a discussion and give away uh, one through eight on here. And, and uh, several of these books, I'm going to be looking at doing that. Um, I got to find them and see where they are so that I can can do that with you guys. And then uh, this one, the God, God, sleeper fantasy comic of, uh, I don't remember if this was 2021 or 2022. I think 2022. I'm going to say Sleeper Comic of 2022 in terms of fantasy. Night Janik, Instruction for Making a Proper Offering to Forgotten Gods. Um, just to show you some of the some of the art in here, some of the stuff going on. Just, it's, it's fantastic. I really enjoyed it. And again, same thing. I'm probably going to do that. I'm moving a lot of stuff from, uh, you know, from single issues to trade paperbacks because it's a little bit easier to... Uh, hold on to the trade paperbacks and store them and so that might be my future collecting direction we'll we'll see uh, but this one right here last one dark beach volume one here with uh, the six issues um, fantastic sci-fi crime series uh, where earth drifted away from the sun and you know there's some some strange things going on after someone gets killed and there's there seems to be like they're hiding something, covering something up. Um, Michael J. Ruiz Unger writing and Sebastian Perez on the artwork and Sebastian's artwork just, uh, I love it. This book, no exception, but he keeps leveling up throughout every book he puts out. He's got one coming from Mad Cave soon, Exorcists Never Die, and he's killing it, absolutely killing it. Uh, and so, same idea, I'm going to try to do something with that and give away some single issues, get, get some cool stories into your hands, and um, we'll, we'll see uh, once I get the time to, to set all that up. But those are the plans for the, I guess, for the next little bit of the year on uh, what some things to look forward to on the channel. Uh, we are approaching 1,500 subscribers, and when that happens, of course, we've got the giveaway set up for this right here. Um, so if you haven't gone over to the Sparks Comics or You Promise Me Comics Instagram pages, go over there and check out the instructions on how to enter this giveaway. You do not want to miss this. Something is Killing the Children, number 12. Uh, Linebreaker Comics exclusive variant by Dan Kitana with a remark and a signature, 9-8 CGC Signature Series. So go over there and check that out. Follow the directions, really quite simple. Just gotta be subscribed and post a screenshot to your story that you are subscribed and tag us and then drop a comment on that post telling me your favorite indie comic. That's it, that, that gets you one direction, one entry and then there's other ways to get more entries into the giveaway, but all that on the post. So trinkets and little things, Mad Cave, I got some, uh, got a patch, a cool Mad Cave sticker there, and uh, looks like a signature, I'm guessing that goes with the book, um, right there. Uh, Dream Master things from Jonathan Hedrick, some, some stickers there, and a, a magnet. I always, I got a whole part of the fridge that is comic magnets. Steak Presents Jessamy sticker right there from David Byrne. 
And then, um, let's see, some more stickers. I met up with uh, John Comics with John's Comics with Kids, if I could talk. Um, he was at the con. It was great to meet you, John, um, and thank you for the stickers. And then uh, uh, Lucy Fernandez right here. Business card is so cool with the butterfly. Um, and I got a couple other things from her, but uh, also uh, Doyle Comic Art. Um, fantastic meeting him. Uh, he actually designed the Sparks Comics logo. And so I, I was able to give him, some, give him a sticker of the logo that he designed for me many years ago now. It's, it's been so long. Uh, I also later, after the fact, found out he did this cover right here for Travis. So super cool um, how things are all connected there. And last one, like I said, uh, Alicia gave me some stickers and things here. So here's one for the new comic, Misfortune's Eyes. Um, I've got the really big things last. I've got some, some original art coming up. All Hail Sumerian sticker right there. And the butterfly. Can't, can't uh, skip the butterfly. And she made me this amazing uh, keychain right here. It's going to live on my desk because I don't want anything to happen to it. It is beautiful. It is, it is our, our main character from Walking Without a Soul. And I love it. And then, um, one, shout out to, um, to Trevor fernandez Linkovich for getting me in as an exhibitor with him um, so that I got into the con a little early and uh, didn't have to stress the, the line and getting in. Really appreciate that. Just means so much to me. Um, Trevor has a book coming to Kickstarter soon. I think the pre-launch page is up right now. It is uh, minutes to midnight, um, and then there's a lot after the colon on it. He likes his colon titled books. We were talking about that. I got a, I got a promo coming soon um, that we recorded there. But uh, from Sumerian, I got this pin, Read More Comics. And from Mad Cave, I got a pin as well. Um, so, yeah, those are the little things. Let's end this on a, on a big note. Um, Let's see. Let's see if this even fits in the frame. Um, Misfortune's Eyes poster right here, from, signed by uh, the creative team, uh, Brooklyn Prince and Alicia Fernandez. Um, so I got to do an interview with them. That is posted on the channel. So if you have not gotten to watch that yet, go check it out. And uh, yeah, uh, Brooklyn signed it here and uh, Alicia signed it there. I am... So grateful for, for meeting them. They're super, both super nice. I'm excited for Misfortune's Eyes. And then I had to pick up this amazing piece of original art from Patrick Buermeyer. It is just incredible. This was one of the covers for Granite State Punk Breaking Edge. And uh, Pat, uh, Travis did a remark there, live free or die. I love it. And then the whole team signed and uh, Patrick did a remark on the bottom. Just absolutely love everything they did with this book. Um, so shout out to them again. And speaking of Travis, here is expired number two poster. This is a poster for the ongoing Kickstarter right now. So if this looks interesting to you, um, go over to Kickstarter and check it out. This is a sci-fi book about uh, really it's a post-apocalyptic kind of story where there's limited oxygen on earth and so of course there's a little bit of a classist system in who gets that extra oxygen and gets to live longer and these people are uh, you know not not willing to just sit down and die and so there's a little bit of rebellion going on I am going to be in this comic as a character um, no spoilers on who I am or what I am, what side of the fight I'm on, but I'm in there, so be sure to keep an eye out for me and back expire number one and two on Kickstarter right now. Um, but that, that is it for things I picked up at the con. Again, I just want to thank a couple of people for making the weekend as fun and exciting as it was. Shout again to Trevor Fernandez-Linkovich for hooking me up with that, uh, 
exhibitor badge and um, making things uh, you know about getting in less stressful um, so thank you so much for that um, everybody should go check out his current Kickstarter minutes to midnight launching soon uh, but the pre-launch page is up and then shout out to the whole orange cone team uh, Travis Jerome Heather Patrick uh, you all fantastic it was great to meet some of you for the first time and see Travis again for the first time though in like two years so um, really appreciate that and uh, of course shout out to the mad cave team for the awesome stuff that I got from them and for meeting you guys in person for the first time uh, instead of just through uh, messages and emails and last but not least for everybody at the Sumerian comics booth because uh, you guys are awesome and it was so fun hanging out with you all uh, shout out to Nathan and Ryan uh, shout out to Steve and Adriana shout out to um, Ruben and uh, Alicia and Brooklyn all of the creators at the booth um, you guys are awesome and really appreciate spending all that time with you guys at the con so that is everything from Megacon hopefully that's everything um, because it's a lot of things so I need to do some reading now and some organizing got some new things to put up on the walls um, but yeah thanks for watching if you've made it this far and you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button I am always talking about indie comics with uh, with creators with my co-host Caroline and um, we just love indie comics so stick around if that's what you love join in on the fun and as always, collect what you love. See you next time.